Hey, this is Craig. This afternoon, I spent out in the shop uh, welding a little plant rack together for my wife. We got to bring in the plants in the wintertime. So I went down to the metal yard and got some one inch steel tubing and weld together this little rack. Now, I am by no means a welder. In fact, I've never welded in my entire life. And about two years ago, Harbor Freight opened a, 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 a store here in town. And so I bought one of these titanium flux, I don't know what it is, one, 125, 150s. And it was an intro price for $150. So I was like, well, you know, I, I can learn something with this. And, and I've actually learned how to weld this stuff um, kind of. I did my first real project. I worked on a really beefy um, table for my pick and place machine. And uh, it does not move at all. It has no, no play in it at all. And it weighs a lot. Um, but that was fun. Um, but anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm talking about tools today uh, that I bought that upped my game. So I can, I'll, honest, I'll be honest here, I can't measure anything. I certainly can't uh, mark anything down and cut it right. Uh, and I, I certainly can't get things square. So the, with all those things, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fighting an uphill battle to actually make something that is, is what it's designed for. Um, and when I, I was on the cheap for a long time, I'll talk about some tools that I got that kind of up my game. So uh, the first tool I bought was, um, well, Today I'm talking about two tools from Fireball Tools. The first one is an eight-inch monster square. I got the aluminum ones. I got these. They had a um, fabrication sale, so I, I I bought these. They're they're not cheap, but man, they they work great. So there's a lot of functionality in these. A lot of there's a lot of reviews of these out there. They have these little wings to kind of lift it off the table. It's real easy to clamp to it because it's got these holes. So you're you're um, so your clamps can go in, can go in like this and clamp everything together. And with these, you can get your square tubing to be at a right angle. And it's very simple. The clamping works great. But the reason why I want to, why I made this, started this video, is I want to compare these two. I don't know what they call these. At, at Harbor Freight, they call this the swivel locking pliers. And over at Fireball Tools, these are called the locking C clamps. So when I was buying those uh, these these monster squares, I decided I'd just throw some of these in. You know, uh, it's a U.S. company, so I figured you know I'm going to support U.S. manufacturers. So I bought a couple of these things. Now the price difference, these guys here, if you go in with your 20% coupon Harbor Freight. Um, these ones are about five dollars, five dollars each. Okay. Uh, these ones here were twenty-five dollars for two of them, and so that works out to be twelve fifty. So each. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the, the significant difference between these two, and why these. This is a tool. This is a. <laughs> this is a horrible tease right here. This is. I mean, these work, you know, people use these all the time, but I want to talk about the significant differences between these. Now, keep in mind when you're in the store and you're going and you're checking out, you're checking out the, uh, you know, the action and how well it works and you decide, okay, well, this one's made okay. So you know, I'm going to buy this. All right. So you get home and one, one thing you don't really remember, well, for me being a novice, uh, novice welder is... You're in the store and you're like, oh yeah, this is pretty easy to use. You know, it's this vice grip kind of thing. You come home and you start using this and you realize, oh wait a minute, I gotta be able to use this with my gloves on. All right, <laughs> so you go, you go and put your gloves on, and you know you lose a lot of dexterity when you put these welding gloves on. And you're welding everything together. Okay, the first thing you need to know on these guys is when they're in the clamp position. So let's say you're going to clamp. Let's say you're going to clamp a piece of one inch tubing to this thing. So you're going to you're going to come in here. This is going to be on your table. And you're going to try to get this clamp to be right. And so the approach is you want to, you know, you loosen this up. Well, even with silicon grease on these threads, it's it's really hard. This these the threads on this and the way that they they threaded this end part on the pliers 
it's just it's just really rough. It's hard to turn it, and this little tiny knob you got to grab with your with your gloves on. Okay. These ones, on the other hand, th this is actually like a machined knob. I mean, I know that's I know that's machined, but this thing moves great. And when you got these clamped down. You know, like you're you're gonna clamp on something, and you and you you want to get it. Say say you're clamp, you're you're not quite tight, right? So you're gonna clamp it down, and you got it there. Then you open them up, you turn it out a little more, and you get it tight. All right. These ones are really frustrating to hook on with you when you got your gloves, just because of the way it's manufactured. These ones, this whole thing right here, the threading on this, and the way that the smoothness of this tool very easy to use with your gloves on this one this is a horror this is really difficult and when you're b building something with a bunch of uh, right angles you want to be able to be pretty quick and just tacking it you know put your parts down clamping it down tack it move on to the next corner and just kind of move around really quickly these let you do that these do not <clears throat> now the other significant difference between these two is the release mechanism Okay, this is your typical. This is this is a lot like your, your the vice clamp. The um, well, most of these, you know, vice grips included, uh, have this little release arm, which is a lever that pushes pushes back on the the me mechanicalness of the pliers. Now, this one, if you look at this, in order to to release it, you have to get your finger in here. Okay. And then you pull the you pull the two together like this, okay. And when you got this really clamped down hard, this is pretty hard to do. All right, this one doesn't work that way. This one to release it, you hold it like this, and you have your finger on it, and you can release it with one finger like that. Because of the, the way that this releases, it's on the different side of the pivot from the rivet that's in there on this little on the little release arm. So this one you pull it towards the main hand the main uh, the main handle gets pulled towards it. This one it goes away from the main handle. This one feature right here makes it so fast to actuate these with welding gloves on this that that one feature on these these uh, clamps make this well worth more than twice the cost of the ones at harbor freight okay that's my thoughts on on this tool here uh i'm by no means an expert i'm not i'm not pro i'm not I'm not a professional at all with this stuff, but as a novice, if you're going to go out and up your game, you really need to start buying real tools to, to complement your your the other tools that you have, and you will be able to produce the kind of results that you're looking for. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.